The chairman of the KMT and DPP are locked in a war of words over each other's party list. DPP chairman Zhu Rongtai took to Facebook Thursday to denounce the KMT's list as a national security risk. KMT chairman Wu Duoni hit back in the comments section of the post, who said the DPP's nominees were handpicked by the president and not through a democratic process. The DPP chairman is burning up the campaign trail for his party's legislative candidates. He's also posted an open letter condemning the KMT for a party list that endangers national security. For two days now, he and the KMT's chairman have exchanged sharp barbs from afar. If we compare the two parties, the KMT would emerge as the one with the more democratic nomination process. The DPP did not go through our assessments or our open and fair process. The KMT's legislator-at-large nominees all love their country, love their party, and care for the nation. I'd like to ask this, which country and which party do they love? If they love the Chinese Communist Party and love the People's Republic of China, then we beg to differ. Also, the most important thing here is that our party list does not include anyone who is a direct threat to Taiwan's national security. Early morning on Thursday, Zhuo posted an open letter to Wu on Facebook. He called on the KMT to replace some of the nominees on its party list. The KMT chairman replied directly to the post. His reply claimed that the DPP's party list was handpicked by the presidential office. Miss Tsai Ing-wen has the dignity of the office of the president. There are few who would dare to challenge her. The DPP's party list only stands to increase her power. Everyone knows that party lists have a direct impact on the presidential election. So at the end of our process, we discussed our final version with the president. We're not like Wu Deni, who released a party list that was repudiated by his own vice presidential candidate, leading to a huge mess. It's a new war of words with both sides unwilling to budge for fear it could make a difference on election day.